Hey guys, Agatha here. Today we're going to be going over the live view settings on Darkroom Booth 3. So this is for um, the live view. What we refer to is this. So if I hit start photo booth, okay, that's fine. This is what I mean. This is what the customers are going to see. So one of the main things that a lot of people talk about is, um, you know, they want to be able to they want their customer to be able to see themselves on the live view screen. So if I click on start, so let's see, we'll start. I won't be able to see myself until the photo has been taken. Okay, um, a lot of people like to see themselves right away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so you're going to go up here, live view settings. Right now it's set under when to show live view window after the session has started i want to make sure that this is set always on before and during so by changing that the customer is able to now walk in front of the photo booth and see themselves passing by or anything which makes the photo booth a little bit more interactive um, for the customer okay so this is what we're going to change if you don't want to have that and just have a blank screen just like we had shown you in the first um, setting you just click on this part if you don't this is the one that I personally run on my run my photo booth on um, Just so that way if anybody passes by they catch an attention and they want to take some more picture take some pictures uh, Also this second option is when the photo is captured pause live view to capture photo so the reason why we leave the pause um, anywhere from one to two seconds is that so that way People, when they take the picture, they can see, okay, it froze, it's it took the picture, and it gives them a clear understanding that the next picture is going. Versus, if I were to do this option, continue live view without pause, it'll just be a constant feed and the customer won't know exactly when the photo is taken. So those are the two different ways to do it. Um, I personally go with the pause live view and I put two seconds on there. So it's totally up to you how you guys wanna do it, but those are the two different options. Um, that are available to you. And then here, um, how your camera is turned, if you are using a DSLR uh, or a webcam, usually it's gonna be horizontal, but if you're using your camera flipped or you're, you're using a webcam that's flipped on its side, this is where that comes into play. Okay, next option is mirroring. So when you want your photo booth, um, when people pick up their right arm, the right, on your screen it shows that the right arm is being picked up if you click on no when you pick up your arm your right arm it looks on the screen like your left arm is being picked up which essentially confuses the customer so you're going to always want to mirror the image for the customer that's what i personally use you guys can try it out yourself and see the difference but this is the correct way to do it okay um and then you also have your option to change your camera setting so let's say i'm going to be using this one click ok i'm going to hit test and you guys could text test your actual image uh, your image quality before you even start the photo booth process so that's all of your live view settings um, when you do connect your dslr because i only have the logitech when you when you connect your dslr booth your canon t6 t5 whatever it is um, you'll see that there's a little uh, small button that pops up and it says external flash mode. With all DSLRs, you're most likely going to be using external flash, which is your umbrella and your flash unit or your ring light. You're going to just check that little box and that will enable your flash to go off when your camera goes off. So that's all of the live view settings there. Just a little rundown. That way you guys can fully understand how it's used. Um, for your photo booth rentals. All right, guys, if you guys like this video, if it helped you out, please um, click on the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And again, thank you for watching.